Welcome to Post Time. I'm Heather Moffitt. The 2011-2012 meet from Dover Downs just began last night. So for about the next six months, I'll be bringing you off the hook fantabulous, don't want to miss in your face action from the 5 8 mile oval. But before we head to Dover Downs for all that excitement, we're going to wrap things up from the Harrington Raceway meet. First of all, the 2011 Harrington Raceway Leading Driver Award went to Ross Woofenden. This is Ross's second straight title here at the Half Mile Oval. The Down Under native visited the winner circle over 200 times. He also earned over 1.4 million in earnings for the season. The trainer who topped the standings this past season at Harrington Raceway was George Teague Jr. George has been a successful fixture in Delaware racing for years, so it's hard to believe that this is his first training title at Harrington. He earned over 70 wins, and his quote-unquote batting average at the meet was almost 600. That's incredible! And the Harrington Raceway 2011 Horse of the Meet went to Jeremy's successor. Let's check him out in victory lane from this past Harrington Meet. There are, there goes Fields of Honor out for that lead along with Jeremy's successor, farther out Dina's Gamble. Diggers Rest has the rail as they race into the first turn. It's Fields of Honor, Diggers Rest. Jeremy's successor is racing in third, followed by Chili. And then it's Art of Illusion, followed by Harlingen, Hanover, Dina's Gamble left a bit, takes back the last. They race up the back stretch. Fields of Honor, here comes Jeremy's successor on the outside to take the lead. Fields of Honor back to second, Diggers Rest now third. Chili is racing fourth in front of Art of Illusion. Two lanes, Harlingen, Hanover, and Dina's Gamble. 28 to 1, they race into the far turn. Jeremy's successor with the lead over Fields of Honor. Diggers Rest is there third, getting away in fourth. That was Chile. They come over toward the top of the stretch on the way toward the half. Jeremy's successor has Fields of Honor by a length and a half, sitting in third, Diggers Rest, coming to the outside, Chile, two lengths to Art of Illusion, and then it's Harlingen, Hanover, and Dina's Gamble to the outside. 57 and 1. Into the turn, Jeremy's successor, Fields of Honor. Chile outside, Diggers Rest back to fourth, then comes Art of Illusion, uh, Dina's Gamble, and Harlingen, Hanover trails as they hit the back stretch. Jeremy's successor leads by a length and a half over Fields of Honor. Racing on the outside, Chile. Dina's Gamble outside, down at the rail, Diggers Rest. Then comes Art of Illusion off the rail now as Harlage and Hanover from last. Three quarters and 125 and two fifths into the far turn. It's Jeremy's successor, a half length. Chile on the outside gets a bit closer. That's Fields of Honor, followed by Diggers Rest, and they're at the top of the stretch. Turning for home, it's Jeremy's successor by three parts of a length. Chili on the outside. Fields of Honor now coming down the inside. Farther out, that's Diggers Rest coming through the stretch. Here comes Diggers Rest after Jeremy's successor on the wire. Jeremy's successor, 153 and 1. Jeremy's successor wins this one, but his overall stats for the year included 15 starts, 6 wins, 3 seconds, 3 thirds, and over $80,000 in purse money. Congratulations to owner Andrea Hill, and to trainer Chrissy Chrisman Beer, and to her husband, driver Sean Beer. And if having the horse of the meat isn't enough, Chrissy and Sean just welcomed daughter Chloe Grace into the world on October 20th. She weighed 8 pounds, 7 ounces, and was 22 inches long. Congratulations, Chrissy and Sean. Our half hour of harness action has just started. Hold your horses. I promise we'll be right back. <laughs> 